Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle uh, ABC fully inscribed uh, in a square uh, ABCD as you can see in this uh, diagram. And moreover, uh, FB is the perpendicular on this uh, line uh, AC. And as a result, we get this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, EFB. And this uh, point uh, E is the midpoint uh, on this uh, line AD. In other words, uh, this segment uh, AE is equal to this segment uh, ED. And furthermore, uh, the area of this square ABCD has been given to us uh, as uh, 900 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, EFB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know the area of this uh, square ABCD is uh, 900 square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the side length uh, of uh, this square uh, ABCD. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area of a square equal to S square, where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case, uh, the area of this square is uh, 900 equal to S uh, square. Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. And here we can see this square and square root undo each other. So that means side length S turns out to be square root of 900 is simply 30. So therefore, the side length of the square ABCD turns out to be 30 units. As you can see over here, 30, 30, 30 across the board. And now before we proceed any further, let me give you one example. Let's consider this uh, blue rectangle and let's assume its area is uh, 10 square units. And if we draw this uh, red uh, diagonal, then this uh, diagonal uh, divides the area of this rectangle uh, into two equal uh, parts and the area of this uh, triangle is going to be half of 10 is going to be 5 square units uh, and likewise the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 5 square units as well. And if we draw this uh, red uh, triangle inside uh, this uh, rectangle such that the base uh, of this uh, triangle is same as the, the side uh, length of this uh, blue rectangle and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, same as the side length uh, of this uh, rectangle as well. Then the area of this uh, red uh, triangle is going to be half of uh, this uh, blue rectangle. If the whole area is 10, then the area of this uh, red triangle is going to be 5 uh, square units. And likewise, the area of this uh, red triangle is going to be 5 uh, square units uh, as well as long as the base uh, is same and likewise uh, the height uh, is same as well. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. Now let's make an observation. We can see its uh, base uh, is uh, same as this uh, side length uh, 30. And likewise the height uh, of this uh, triangle uh, EBC is uh, 30 this side length. So therefore, we conclude that the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBC is going to be the half uh, of this uh, square area, which is uh, 900. So therefore, the area of this uh, triangle uh, EBC turns out to be half of 900 is going to be 450 square units. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, EFB is going to be equal to the area of this uh, big triangle uh, EBC, this uh, whole area, minus uh, the white uh, BFC triangle area, this uh, white uh, triangle area. And now we can see the area of this uh, EBC triangle is uh, 450. So this area is uh, 450. So therefore, now our task A is to calculate the area of this uh, white triangle uh, BFC. 
and now let's focus uh, on this uh, white triangle uh, BFC and here in this uh, next step I have dropped uh, a perpendicular uh, FB on this uh, side uh, BC and now we can see that this uh, FB is the height uh, of this uh, white triangle uh, BFC and the base uh, of this uh, white triangle uh, BFC is uh, 30 so therefore now our task is uh, to find uh, this uh, length uh, FB in order to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, BFC and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume that this angle in this triangle is uh, alpha this angle is 90 degrees so therefore this angle must be beta and now we can see this whole angle is 90 degrees this angle is alpha so therefore this remaining angle has got to be our angle beta and we know that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is beta so therefore this tiny angle is going to be alpha and now we can see that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is alpha so therefore uh, this uh, remaining angle has got to be angle beta and finally if this angle is 90 degrees uh, this angle is beta then this angle has got to be alpha in this uh, triangle so therefore we conclude that this uh, tiny right triangle uh, FPC is uh, similar to this uh, triangle uh, ADC according to angle angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of FP and PC let me go ahead and write down FP divided by PC is going to be equal to the ratio of this side CD and ED let me write down CD divided by ED and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, CD length uh, is uh, 30 and moreover this whole uh, length uh, AD is uh, 30 so therefore this uh, AE length is going to be half of 30 is going to be 15 and likewise ED length uh, is going to be 15 units as well so therefore uh, ED length uh, turns out to be 15 units as you can see in this uh, next step now we can see 30 divided by 15 is same as uh, 2 divided by 1 so therefore uh, we conclude uh, that this uh, fp is going to be equal to 2 times some constant uh, k and likewise this uh, pc is going to be some constant uh, 1 times k as well and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this constant k so therefore we can see that this uh, fp length uh, turns out to be 2 times k and this uh, pc length is uh, 1 times k and now let's make an observation we can see the ratio between these uh, two side lengths is uh, 2 to 1 so therefore the ratio to this side length this side length uh, and this side length is going to be 2 to 1 as well if this side length uh, FP is uh, 2 times K then this uh, side uh, BP is going to be twice of that one that is going to be 4 times K and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, BC length is going to be some of these two individual lengths uh, 4K plus 1K that is going to give us uh, 5 times uh, K is going to be equal to and we also know that this uh, side length BC is uh, 30 units so therefore 5k is going to be equal to 30 let's divide both sides by 5 to isolate k so therefore our k value turns out to be 6 uh, units and since uh, k value turns out to be 6 so therefore this uh, FP length uh, is going to be 2 times k means uh, 2 times 6 is going to give us uh, 12 uh, units so therefore uh, this uh, side FP turns out to be 12 units and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BFC 
and now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle BFC and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to half times base uh, times height and in our case the base of this uh, white triangle BFC is uh, 30 and the height uh, is uh, 12 so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this white triangle BFC so a half uh, times our base uh, is uh, 30 and the height uh, is uh, 12 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 180 so thus the area of this uh, y triangle uh, bfc turns out to be 180 square units and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, pink uh, triangle uh, efp we already figured out our uh, triangle ebc area which is uh, 450 and this uh, y triangle uh, bfc area as uh, 180 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got 450 minus uh, 180 and if we subtract this thing uh, that is going to give us uh, 270 so thus our pink shaded area turns out to be 270 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye